We gotta walk. We yeah, gotta nice. walk. Oh, okay. Okay, so I just finished having dinner with my sister and my mom, and what's the idea that I had? Uh, we're changing the way things are trending. Trending. How, how, how we create trends in the media. I'll divulge into that in a second. So I'm driving home from meeting my mom and sister for dinner, uh, about a half an hour. So I'm driving home right now, that's what I'm doing. But um, so we were eating dinner and my sister brings up the fact that uh, she's a teacher, by the way. Her kids wanted her to dab. And you know, I thought to myself about trends. I started thinking about trends and how we form trends and how they become popular. The young millennials in the old, I think it's Gen Xers, around 95, um, 1995, 96, maybe we're the ones creating these big trends or like creating a majority of these big trends and the little kids are latching onto it. Um, and of course the little kids have their own memes and trends that they uh, create. But it might be possible that as we get older, these trends could still be relevant to us. These new trends that come out in 20 years, we might be still interested and attuned to what's cool. So a little background, I work uh, this summer at a minor league baseball stadium uh, doing different media work. But while it's a family ballpark, um, so there's a lot of family there, there's lots of kids, little kids, you know, under 10, and I noticed that they do that dance with their hips, which I just recently learned from my sister is called the floss. I was trying to learn it in the fall and, you know, teaching other people. But that was September and it's currently July, like early July. And so if my math is right, that's 10 months this trend has been around. And these kids are acting like they just learned it. Maybe the way that we create trends is changing my parents they had their trends in the 80s with the big hair and then that went out of style so they grew up and it's not as hip anymore and they kind of fall off the chain with being cool we're so connected now from when our parents were kids or even our grandparents were kids that the way that things trend is being changed we share so much of our lives and what I, as a 22 year old, think is funny, could also be funny to a 10 year old. But now we have memes and we have dances like the floss that people really latch onto and it connects us through generations. And this is just an idea, and I know this isn't what ideas that I have today, this is what I learned today. However, it's getting me thinking, and it could lead to a larger revelation later on. If this is a real thing, it could fundamentally change how our culture interacts over generations. That's substantial. So that's just an idea that I had. I know that this is called What I Learned Today. However, this whole series is focused on personal growth, learning, keeping your mind open. Um, and one thing that I've learned, at least in the last couple months, is be alert and pay attention. Don't just passively go through your day. That road leads to a short life. If you stop learning and stop gaining new experiences and having new thoughts, then life will fly past you. I'd like to conclude this with two things. One little thing that happened today that made me sad and one little thing that happened today that made me happy. The first of which is my girlfriend is supposed to be visiting me tonight uh, and I'm supposed to wait up. Uh, she's coming in at like 11.30 at night. And uh, this morning I woke up really stressed out and I peeked out my window to see, see if her car was there because I thought it was the next day. And I got very sad uh, and stressed that I had fallen asleep waiting for her and I locked her out of the house. So that made me sad, uh, not really lasting it. As soon as I realized what day it was, it, you know, my day picked up uh, and what made me happy today was the fact that I found time to visit with my mom and sister um, even if it meant driving a half an hour to, to have dinner with them so those are two things that affected my day just a little 
checkup, you gotta be in tune with your emotions because if you don't know what's going on, then you're just a blind man walking through a minefield. And well, we all know how that ends. Well, I hope you learned something today or maybe sparked some uh, creative thinking. And that's it for me. Peace, love, and joy. One more thing before I go for real. Um, I wanna know what you guys learned today. So leave a comment down below on something that you learned today. Maybe not today, maybe in the last week. Something substantial, something thought-provoking, and something that leads to personal growth. So tell me what you learned in the comment section below and subscribe if you wanna continue watching videos like this. Hey, check it out, she made it. I didn't lock her out, I didn't fall asleep. What's funny? What's so funny? No reason to be sad anymore.